to the Lord in prayer. If you want to stay where you are, if you want to come to the altar, you can go right ahead. We are going to go to the Lord in prayer.
All right, I'm going to call the moderator for tonight's service, who is no other than Brother Adrian Clark. Put your hands together for him as he comes. Good night, my brothers and sisters. Good night. That's right, man. It sounds like you're here with me. Um, let me take this opportunity. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you all to or Sunday night service in which we will also be launching the men's talent showcase which is scheduled for 2025 so even though we're doing the launch tonight we are in church amen and we are here to worship and lift up the mighty name of Jesus and so, without further ado, I'm going to ask that you stand with me, if I can find it. Okay, here it is. I'm going to ask that you stand with me. Yes, sorry. And turn your Bibles for me to the book of Psalm chapter 39. Psalm chapter 39. There are 13 verses, but I won't be reading them all tonight. Psalm 39, reading from verses 1, and it says, I said, I will take heed to my way that I sin not with my tongue I will keep my mouth with bridle while the wicked is before me I was dumb with silence I held my peace even from good and my sorrow was stirred my heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burned then I spake with my tongue Lord make me to know mine end and the measure of my days what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as a handbreadth, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Surely, every man walketh in a vain shrew. Surely, they are disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches, and knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, why wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolishness. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth because thou didst it. Verse 10. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. Here endeth a portion of God's word, and we will honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. I'm going to invite Sister Tara back to the microphone as she will lead us into the song service and a session of consecration. Hallelujah. We're going to do this song before we do another song. It, it just came to me, and I, I think it's good to do it. It would be good to do it now. 
Don't try to tell me God is dead. He woke me up this morning. Don't try to tell me he's not alive. He lives within my heart. He opened up my blinded eyes and set me on my set me on my way. Don't try to tell me that my God is dead. I just talk to him today. Don't try to tell me God is dead. He woke me up this morning. Don't try to tell me he's not alive. He lives within my heart. He opened up my blinded eyes and set me on my, set me on my way. Don't try to tell me that my God is dead. I just talk to him to everybody do like this.
come. Now is the time to worship. I'm going to do another song. And then I'm going to call the moderator, Brother Adrian Boggs, to come back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No eyes have seen and no ears have heard and no mind can know what God has in store. So open up heaven Open it wide over our church and over our lives. Holy
glorify the Lord tonight? Can we just glorify his name because he's worthy to be praised? Hallelujah. Lord, let me live in the glory of your grace. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. We continue to bask in his presence. We continue to worship him. We continue to lift up his name because he is indeed worthy to be praised. I now turn over back to our moderator, Brother Adrian. the president of the Life Builders Ministry to now come and do our official welcome. Thank you, Brother Adrian. Um, we'll say welcome everybody to our launch of the Men's Talent Showcase 2025. It's going to be an exciting year of fun, excitement, um, authentic, wonderful competition this time. And I know the men are fired up to ready to rock and roll and to really have a wonderful commission. I want to welcome our musician. I want to welcome our wonderful moderator and um, our praise and worship leader. And I want to welcome all of you here tonight um, to our Men's Talent Showcase launch. Um, I hope that you're going to have a wonderful time with us. Um, and I hope that you will, as tonight going forward, we will, we, we will, uh, that you will support the men in their competition um, until we give them your full support. Make sure you ask your cousins and aunties and great grand aunts and you know friends, workers, overseas people, everybody, to give the men their support tonight. So, thank you all for coming, and I hope that we're gonna have a wonderful night. Thank you. Greetings, my president. Um, I am also now going to invite our pastor to the microphone as he will bring greetings and then immediately after we will go directly into the program. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are, we are going into our second um, men's talent showcase and as we launch tonight, I want to congratulate the men, the young men who have stepped forward. And in my book, you are already winners for having stepped forward to present your talent and your gift to this, uh, not just fundraising activity, but also a ministry. There are many persons who don't understand that the people of God are gifted. Amen? And um, as we celebrate the gift of God and the gift of God's people this year as a national church body, it is fitting that this talent showcase be a part of this year's program. So I want to congratulate the men again, and I want to encourage all of us to make sure we begin. The voting has already begun. Amen? So let us begin to support our various uh, candidates as they vie for the crown of Mr. Saul Spring. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much, my pastor. Now that we've gotten that part out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? 
doing wonderful. All right. Sister Shirley. Why, we know you're obedient. You know. Thank you so much. I called you this morning and said, come out and you're here. Really appreciate it. How are you, Sister Steph? Waiting for? You're excited. Lord of mercy. Be anxious for nothing. Scriptures tell you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there are five young men who have given of themselves this year to be a part of the Men's Talent Showcase. And tonight we want to show our appreciation to those men of giving themselves. They'll be introduced to you uh, in a timely manner. But let us visit the last time we had the Men's Talent Showcase. There were, I believe, six men who entered at that time. Or was it seven? It was five? You remember, Frana? Yes. Myself, Brother Francis, Brother Tyrese, who is on his way. I was hoping he would have been here, but he's running a little bit behind. Shavane and Elijah. Yes, man, what a time it was. I remembered it like it was yesterday. This was the first time that we would have held anything of that nature here in Salt Spring. And I want to also thank the church for supporting us um, last year when we did the, the, the showcase. We ask now for your continued support as we want to do this again even bigger and better. And so, the men who will be entering this year have no grays on their head or in their beard. But the, <laughs> but the young men have come out and decided that yes, they will, you know, put their talent on show. So a man like me and Brother Francis We'll just sit down this year and enjoy and support our contestant. You know, the one that we want to, to win. Last year, there were so many prizes that were given away. I think we gave away over $100,000, if my memory serves me right, Brother Matthew. The winner, man walk home with TV, a big check. And if you look in the church group, I think you can still see the check. I don't know if it cash yet. <laughs> but the check, you can see a copy of that check. And the prizes this year are even more bigger. And if you happen to know Brother Matthew and would have worked with him, Dr. Wisdom, like I do, when he sets his mind out for something he does it, and he never stops. If you're supposed to do something for him, 5 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, you're getting a call, 12 o'clock midday, you're getting a call, and 4.30, quarter to 5, you're getting the next call, just for him following up to ensure. And one of the things, I'm, I'm, I'm straying from the point here, one of the things that Brother Matthew said to me when he became men's president, he said to me, I don't know what I'm doing but you men are here, you have been here, so you will help me to make this thing work. And he has never fallen short of asking for the help. So let's put our hands together for the Life Builders president, <laughs> Brother Matthew McDermott. That was a little big up for you, Prezi. Bless your heart. And so we have five young men tonight who will be vying for the Mr. Salt Spring Yes. I have no idea what you just said, but praise the Lord. Nobody don't know who may I talk to. But so, without further ado, I will be calling on the youngest of the five Hello. first. Thank you to my technician who's handed me the new mic. 
the youngest of the five first. And would you believe it, when I ask these young men their ages, men think they're younger, you know, but a man them, you know. My God Almighty. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our first contestant. We don't know what thing he'll be wearing as yet. He will pick one from here, and then we will identify who he is or what department he'll be representing. Our first contestant is a young man that, when him just talked to me a while ago, me wonder when vice gets so rough. Because I remembered when he had the baby voice. Lord of mercy, I'm a brethren. I remember when we took a picture on the outside and I said, give me a pose, no man. The pose was, I still have it in my phone. Mr. Jonathan Wisdom, would you join me here? Mr. Wisdom is 12 years old. He is currently a student at the William M. High School. Mr. Wisdom told me that he wants to be an animator. And he says that if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But whatever you do, just keep moving. And boy, see a little man like this, them words here come out of my mouth. I was really impressed, surprised and impressed, and more so proud of the young man that he is becoming. Put your hands together for another time for Mr. Wisdom. I'm going to ask, sir, that you pick one from here. Just pick one. All right. So Mr. Wisdom would have, you can open it, sir. Jonathan will be wearing what is top name name where you put over your shoulder? The sash. What's that sound so? Jeremy. Yes, he'll be wearing the shawl. The what? Stone. Stole. Thank you so much. He'll be wearing the stole representing the Family Life Ministries. Now, if you know anything about the family life people, eh, they're ready for win. And so, Jonathan will be representing the family life. Now, the stoles should have been here tonight for me to ask the family life person to put it around his shoulders, but they are not here regrettably. And so I'm still going to ask the Family Life President to come and stand beside Mr. Wisdom for, 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 for talk, what's, what's the word? For photo purposes. Come on, put your hands together for Jonathan Wisdom. Where's the camera people? Kareem, could you, off, could you assist me with the services of taking a few pictures for me tonight? You can use my phone. It's the expensive kind. Yes. Sister Graham Hall, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for her. She's my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jonathan Wisdom, Mr. Family Life Ministries. Before you go, Mr. Wisdom, thank you so much, Lady Smith. Anything you want to say to the church, don't preach.
to win for family life. So, my competitors, I wish you best of luck. You're gonna need it. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Coming to us next is a another young man. No, I did not expect it of him because he's kind of reserved a bit. However, he has decided. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask that you put your hands together and welcome Mr. Jordan Anglin. Come on, put your hands together for Jordan. While he's coming, Jordan is 18 years old. I could not believe it when he told me. The man left high school already. And the man tall like me. <laughs> Jordan is a graduate of the Maldon High School. And he's currently enrolled in the Granville Vocational and Training Center where he's pursuing education in construction. Yes. So put your hands together for Mr. Anglin. I'm going to take, allow him to pick something out of the box or the, the basket. While he does, though, before you open it, I'm going to tell you something. You know, so Jordan Father might me come to this church. I have to give this story. I give it all the way. I used to live in down at Melbourne. And when I moved to Melbourne, Brother Matthew, I don't know which church I should go to. And so the lady that lived in the house beside us said, get ready. So I'm get ready. And then she called me on the veranda and she said, this is the man that would have walked up any church you can go, that the church you have to go. And I walked behind his daddy to this church. And I never left. Come on. I cheer. It's a, it's a, it's a, so, so, to, to see now his son standing right here beside me, representing Lord of mercy. <laughs> Come, let me see. Let me see your paper. Why are you so happy, Jordan? Lord of mercy. Jordan has drawn out of the basket the ladies' ministry. Put your hands together. I'm going to invite the Prezi to come at this time and stand beside Jordan. For <laughs> Jordan feels the support. Lady Wisdom, could you join Mr. Anglin? Here on stage. That's right. That's right. And if history serves me right, I believe that the representative from the ladies' ministry won last year. So you have a reputation to keep. So the future is open. We will write it. How first runner up sound. Jordan the opportunity to say something um, before he goes. Mr. Anglin. Um, good night, everyone. I want to say <laughs> my dream come true to represent the ladies ministry and I'm looking forward to be the 2025 winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jordan Anglin, Mr. Ladies Ministries. That's right. We have another 18-year-old person. And forgive me if I'm going in age order. But I was really surprised at the ages of these 
18 year old and this one too was a surprise because he is also reserved he works but he likes to work in the background and so put your hands together for the first time in public yes Mr. Nation Brown Brethren, them call him Nation. That's right. Now, Mr. Brown is a graduate of the Irwin High School. He, too, is attending the Granville Vocational and Training Center, where he is pursuing commercial food preparation. And so, having anything here you don't have to call me anymore sister Steph you can call Nation he's the cook Nation goes by the mantra he says I will cast all my cares on God because he cares for me ladies and gentlemen Mr. Nation Brown as sister Tara would say that's her death Nation has chosen out of the basket the general church. Right? Now, I had asked Sister um, McCallum to be here tonight, but regrettably, she's indisposed. And so, I specially invited somebody tonight, um, and she knows herself because I called her name earlier. And so, Sister Shirley Reed, yes, ma'am, I'm going to invite you at this time, representing the general church. Sister Shirley, come on. That's right. It's, that's right. Come on, put your hands together for my friend, now, man. Sister Shirley, she represents the general church. Stand beside Sister Na Brother Nation, yeah? That's right. All right. Thank you so much, Sister Shirley. Appreciate it. Brother Nation, the microphone, sir. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. All right. So, as you know, I'll be representing the general church. So I'm not a part of one body or two body or three body. I'm a part of everybody. <laughs> so please, please vote. Thank, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nation Brown and Francis Blood running that one. So, you know, we have to expect the unexpected. Tum, 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 tum. All righty. We, we move along. And when this little young man told me he was 19 years old. I said, Lord of mercy, maybe I saw a spring too long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth contestant tonight is Mr. Nathan McDermott. Lord of I don't know, but it seems as if, Brother Matthew, we got all the shy ones out this year. Yes, yes man. This one hide behind the camera 
and the computers up there. So Mr. McDermott, as I mentioned, is 19 years old. He is a graduate of the Montague Bay Community College where he pursued information technology. So if your computer want to fix, don't call me. Call Nathan, because I'll tell you just control, I'll delete. And that might mash up everything. Nathan told me earlier that discipline and consistently is very important. My father, we're not talking to him still, so we can't beat him for that. So I'm going to give you the opportunity, Mr. McDermott, to pick one from the basket. Lord of mercy. Nathan will be representing the church and pastors council. Put your hands together for him. Where is Sister Joan? Oh, she's up there? Okay, I'm gonna, it's fine, Sister Joan. I'm gonna invite the assistant um, pastor or, or the, the pastor's second while he was on vacation. Oh, you want, oh, here's my pastor. I saw him going outside. In, Reverend Carl Wisdom, who is the host pastor you stand beside the contestant for the Church and Pastors Council, Mr. Nathan McDermott. Pictures. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, Nathan. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. As um, Nathan McDermott, I represented the church and pastor's council. This year, we are going to win this competition no matter what. And to all my competitors, I wish you ha -ha, a good luck because you are going to need it. And I will say amen to that. Amen to that. <laughs> Mr. Nathan McDermott, ladies and gentlemen. His brother was an entrant last year, and I believe he has caught the fever. Yes. Our final contestant tonight is a young man who I've really admired. He is a husband and a father, one son, one wife walking in the precepts. The only my contestant. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Sheldon Smith. Lord of mercy. Now, Mr. Smith is a certified mechanic. If you want your car fixed, don't call me. Call Sheldon. I will tell you that it is choking and there's gas in the cool and something and all of them stuff there. I also found out that Mr. Smith is a teacher at the St. James High School. Am I right, sir? Lord. Come on, man. Put your hands together for Mr. Smith. He said to me, Bugs, if you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability or not do it at all. Good mantra to live by. So, Mr. Smith, since there is just one sheet of paper left in the basket, the man well dapper, me think we're in church tonight. The man trasher. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm married. Now, what a coincidence that the oldest of the group, I'm not calling you old, my brother. 
I'm older. <laughs> but the oldest of the group will be representing the youngest group, which is the youth department. Come on, put your hands together for Mr. Smith, who is now Mr. Youth Department. And for session and photo purposes, I'll be inviting Miss Denicia Gordon to come representing the Youth Department. Now let me say there is no conflict of interest, Sister Stephanie, none at all. Your vote, your choice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Damian Smith. Yes, South Spring. South Spring. Are you ready for your winner? Yeah. <laughs> amen, amen. Um, Entering enter into this competition, you know, it's, um, I don't know what to expect. I was here the last time when, um, the first one, um, Kev. But I'm here. I have a high energy, high spirit, and, um, I know I can do this. Um, <coughs> for the other contestants, I just want you all to know that whenever I enter in something, you know, I am already the winner. You guys are not going to win, you know. <laughs> So I'm already, I'm already victorious. Um, I, have, I have my wife and especially my son to motivate. So you know, um, it's a, it's a, those are a plus for me. I know, so I'm just putting all the other contestants a notice. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Sheldon Smith. His wife was the inaugural Miss Salt Spring, and so she is one of our reigning queens. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our five contestants. I'm going to ask that they stand wherever they are. Mr. Jonathan Wisdom. Mr. Jordan Anglin. Mr. Nation Brown. Mr. Damian Smith and Mr. Nathan McDermott. You can just stand at the front there, gentlemen. Where's my photographer? Yes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Or five contestants. Oh my God, I remember when I was there. The fabulous five. Put your hands together for our contestants. Ladies and gentlemen. Come on, clap them, the man. Clap them, man. Yes, man. Clap them. Show the man them dap already. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so much for giving of yourselves. And so, without further ado, my brothers and sisters, the votes are open. Yes, and so vote for your contestant. Votes cost $50. Vote as many times as you wish. Just walk to the person and just give them a thousand dollars and said that of a vote. And so at this time, I bring the men's talent showcase, or should I say, I officially open the law uh, or men's talent showcase. Put your hands together for the Life Builders Ministry and the men who will be participating this year. My brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming out tonight, supporting the Life Builders Ministry. 
as we continue to work here. Building the kingdom of God here on earth. The funds raised were put together for good stuff the last time. And I see the men has taken on the challenge this year of refurbishing the bathroom. And so continue to work with the men of this church as we continue to allow this temple to look good. Put your hands together again for the life builders. And again, I want to thank you, my brothers and sisters, for coming out tonight, supporting the men. I'm going to ask that we all stand as we bring this program to a close. Sister Graham, I'm going to invite you, my dear sister, to the microphone as I ask that you close us in prayer. Yes, Sister G, you, man. Yes. Oh, Lord of mercy, I forgot there was a sister. Yes, this is Sister Graham. Yes, that's you in, in her aquamarine. Let us stand for prayer. Let us stand for prayer. Good night, everyone. Hallelujah. 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 Our Father, our God, <clears throat> our righteousness. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Father, we give you thanks another time for your goodness towards us. Thank you, Lord, that you loved us first. Hallelujah. Even while we were yet sinners, while our minds were far away from you, you came and you died. And you called us, Lord, to a higher place. So tonight, as we come in your presence, hallelujah, we want to say thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for being who you are. There is none before you. There will be none after you. Hallelujah, God. So tonight, as we come in your presence, we want to give you thanks, Lord, for allowing us to be here in the first place. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you have kept us. And so, Lord, we thank you that for the, the tonight's launch of the, the men's talent showcase. Hallelujah. Father, as we come in your presence tonight, we ask, Lord God Almighty, that even as you have blessed us to be here, that you will continue to cover us under your blood. Hallelujah. We don't know, Lord, what the rain is going to be like for the rest of the night, if it's going to come. But if it's going to come, Lord, I ask that everyone will reach home before, Lord, you send that next outpouring. Hallelujah. We ask, Lord, that you will guide the, the vehicles on the road. Hallelujah. We realize, Lord Jesus, that the roads are wet and dangerous, Lord God. And so in the name of Jesus, we ask, Lord, that you will send your angels in front, Lord, to guide the traffic on the road tonight. We ask that every person, Lord, that is here, hallelujah, will go home safely, that your name will be glorified, hallelujah, and your people will be blessed as we say thanks to you and we give your praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious 
unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace this day and forevermore. The Lord bless you, my brothers and sisters. Get home safe. You have a good rest of your evening. And remember, the vote lines are open. Vote for your favorite contestant at the stands.